Hello and welcome to D&D Daily. My name is Sage and today I'm going to be doing a blind stat block reading that comes from Critical Role's Call of the Nether Deep, the Occult Initiate. Occult Initiates are the most recent inductees into their organization and the members of the organization most often encountered by outsiders. The Occult Initiate is a medium or small humanoid that is a sorcerer of any alignment. They have an armor class of 12 that will become 15 with mage armor. They have 66 hit points and a 30 foot movement speed. They have a plus zero to strength, plus two to dex, plus one to con, plus two to intelligence, plus zero to wisdom, and plus three to charisma. They have proficiency in the arcana, deception, history, and perception skills. They have a passive perception of 12, and they speak common plus any other one language. They are a challenge rating two with a proficiency bonus of plus two. Moving into actions, we have short sword. It's a melee weapon attack with plus four to hit, a reach of five feet. It hits one target and on hit does an average of five piercing damage plus seven psychic damage. Arcane Blast recharges on a five or a six. The initiate creates an explosion of magical force in a 20 foot radius sphere centered on a point it can see within 120 feet of itself. Each creature in that area must make a DC 13 dexterity saving throw. On a failed saving throw, the creature takes it an average of 10 force damage and is pushed 10 feet away from the center of the area. On a successful save, it takes half as much damage and isn't pushed. The Initiate also comes with spellcasting and uses Charisma as its spellcasting ability and has a spell save DC of 13. At will, the Initiate can cast Light and Mage Hand, and once a day can cast Detect Magic and Levitate. So when I see a stat block whose highest ability score is Charisma and also comes with some face proficiencies, I expect this to first be a role-playing encounter as opposed to directly a battle encounter. Then taking a look at what face skills we focused on, which is deception in this case, we can kind of start building from there. So the occult initiate is kind of a deceptive salesman trying to initiate them into their cult. Now this same stat block could be used for any sort of deceptive salesman and it would still work and that's pretty cool. Past that we have dex as our highest combat ability, which tells me that we're not the biggest bruiser ever, we're more of a finesse based fighter, which tends to want to get in and out, which is kind of supported by our lower than normal constitution. So at the end of the day, the spell block comes across as a bit of a spell sword. So let's look at those spells that we have. Light and Mage Hand are both out of combat cantrips. Detect Magic is a role playing spell, and so that leaves Levitate as our only combat spell. Now if we were able to levitate ourselves and stay out of combat shooting ranged abilities, then we might use it on ourselves. however, we don't have consistent ranged abilities. We only have a short sword and a ranged attack that recharges on a 5 or a 6, which suggests that we're either going to levitate an ally who has some good ranged spells, or we're going to try and levitate an enemy. The initiate would be wise enough to choose an enemy that seems to not have a lot of ranged options, probably a paladin or a barbarian, and it's also going to choose someone that it thinks isn't going to save super well, so based on their size, you know, constitution, they would probably associate with size. So they might choose a rogue or a monk in that case. Now, they're not intelligent enough to be able to read stats, so they're going to take an educated guess, but they're probably not going to be the most accurate at that guess. Arcane Blast is our big moment. It's kind of the cool spell sorty moment for this character to, to yeet a kind of pseudo fireball, except it's force damage that kind of knocks people away. Does significantly less damage at a bit less range, but pretty awesome still, and I think pretty flavorful for the character to give them something cool. But the short sword actually hits pretty hard despite not having multi-attack. The addition of psychic damage to the normal damage is a pretty hard hit, a harder hit than you might expect from this character. So overall, while there's distance, I think we're trying to set up levitate and we're trying to use arcane blast. Once we close the distance, we're trying to hit them with our short sword. Overall, I doubt the initiate is going to stay very long. I would say at half HP, they're probably retreating, a controlled retreat because they're not dumb, but a retreat nonetheless. This has been my blind stat block reading of the Occult Initiate. What would you do to make them cooler or more interesting in your game? Let me know in the comments down below. We are D&D Daily. We release new D&D content every single day, so if that's interesting to you, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.